So as y'all can see, we're back again with another. And it's been a showdown. CJ and DJ have been going at it. It's like style of one with that. So basically what we got set up here is we got an old school Coleman cooler. You know, we got we got it loaded. Give me a second, DJ. One second here. I'm with don't I'm with us up watching today. We got it loaded down with some Fourth of July water beer. Stop it. As like, y'all can see, CJ oh. don't he don't do what everyone for the most time. <laughs> It's, it's Hannah, Hannah and I versus the boys, and we're gonna dominate it. The show. If you don't believe, watch this. On your mark, and set, go. Get out of here. Take that on your way out. Two. And take that with you. Uh oh, Skyler's coming. Oh, she got tagged on the way out. Took her down, body shot. That's like how Roy Jones caught Tarver, ain't it? Body shot. Guys, remember if you start losing your contest, you can pull a Ron Artest. That was a Ron Artest. They had water all over my face. You can only have one if you can catch it. You ready? Yeah. Come up some so I don't bust. I'm going to toss it to you. This is the subscribers how good you can catch. I'm serious. You ready? I'm going to give you a fair chance. <laughs> no. No. One more try. One more try. Ready? Catching water balloons, guys. Takes a lot of focus. Oh Lord. Ah! Oh, headshot. <laughs> hey everybody. It's the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. It's one of our favorite holidays. We love the fireworks. So naturally, um, we are outside today and we're about to cast out a line so stay with us and we'll see y'all shortly thanks for watching fourth of july let's put some more rods out so we don't know if it's gonna be a slow day fishing or a fast day fishing but i can tell you right now we're suspended in about I'd say probably about eight foot of water right here at this point. We're probably about 30 foot off the left side of the bank here. Just over the main channel here of 79. And uh, once we go to drifting down, we're gonna give it just a little bounce that to get it up. But uh, once we get it over here off this point here and we bring it up and drop them back down, but we're hoping to have that bait just right in their face. We, Got it in like a little funnel area here where the fish are just funneled to come through. And then just passing through, we hope that, you know, our baits are on good structures right there waiting for them when they come through. So, guys, we're hooked up. I wouldn't lie to you. Whoa. Well, we're tangled up now. <laughs> Probably bad. All right, so he came through and hit it, but we didn't hook up. So we're going to drop it back down. I'll start walking your way and you start walking mine. We'll meet in the middle, neat that old Georgia pine. We gain a lot of ground, cause we both give a little. Ain't no path too long if you just meet in the middle. We'll just have to stay tuned and see if we can get hooked up. Guys, I turned this camera back on because I had some action on this rod here. Had some bubbles in the water. 
the rod took off left and right. So I didn't want to miss the takedown. Looks like he might have looks like he might have left it alone. Maria's got old Durango, old Durango orange hooked up, and he's whooping her. He's turning the whole boat around. Durango, old Durango whooping, put Durango red, putting a whooping. Guys, we're out here like Cole and Jay today, and uh, it looks as if we're hooked up. Got jump coming. Just let me get my reel out. I'm gonna see if I get that fish. I whoop you every time. Guys, this is not a competition today. And uh, I don't know why Hannah's still the need. I was gonna help her. But if she's gonna need to talk a little trash, what y'all say? She can get them off herself, can't she? Let me get my plate. Oh, he's giving all us. Did he get you his wet? Got us wet. Here you go, you take the camera out, Landon. Chris is gonna help me land this fish. He, he's a little too big for my life. Ah, uh, he's in that fun size range. Hey, wait a minute now, wait, wait a minute. Come on, come on. I thought my rod was, I thought my rod had started to take me down back there. There he is, guys. Yeah, I'm sporting the uh, Maria Edition Crocs, no doubt. We can start right there. But, uh, he, he's a no, little thin, but he's a really good fish. He's about, I'd call him about, let's lay this back side here. I've measured this side of the kayak here, and I know it's 24, it's two foot. So we'll stretch him out here for you that care about that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, he's about, I'd call him a, Another inch or so. He's about 25, 26 inches. Uh, and uh, let's look at him here. He say he appreciate y'all having him, he say. Why don't we put him back? He's, that's magic, guys. But uh, we got nothing else to do. Hannah's up, one nothing. One nothing. He went down the slip and slide. <laughs> Why don't we just drop it back down and catch another one? Stay tuned. Guys, it looks like the fishing world say it. Well, I had him. Let me explain to you guys what's going on. Guys, I lost that fish. We had to edit that part out because I lost that fish and I got ultra frustrated. But uh, the bite's starting to pick up. Bats are starting to fly on the water as well. And as you can see, some of my lights down on the pump starting to come on. So it's getting a little darker. But we're out here like Cole and Jay today. Cole and Jay. Fishing Don the Dust. Don the Dust. But how about hooked a decent fish there? He seems like he's maybe country. Country, country. Like a 12 pack of sun drop country. Tomorrow we're going out to the turtle, man. We got some more chicks he wants us to pick up. And, uh, seems that everything's going well over his place now, so. We enjoy the pictures and the videos. He keeps sending us the videos. Say, Maria, why you didn't get the camera and want to get my takedown? You didn't want people to see my takedown? <laughs> Listen. That's the same reason I lost the fish in the competition. So. I said hand me the camera. Any of you's got an ultra competitive spouse at home? <laughs> well, I've got to show y'all some updates we've made to Gilligan's Island as well. Yeah, no. Zepco, no doubt. No doubt, old school country. We got pretty and pink throwed out. Hannah's rocking old Durango orange over here today. And uh, pretty and pink's got the better drag system, so I mean Durango orange does, but pretty and pink's got the better rod. It's a medium action, medium light to heavy action, six foot rod, straight gra graphite rod is what we use here on the homestead, straight graphite. We might catch a fireworks show today from right here on top of the water. Party on the water, whole lot of fun. I love a Tennessee River run. <laughs> Listen, 
I used to wear them boys out at the Tennessee River. I wouldn't lie to you. Wouldn't lie to you. You don't know nothing about that Tennessee River run. I'm, t I'm talking about country like Craig Campbell. I drive up by here, pay here, truck. It ain't new, but it is to me. It ain't much, but it fires right up and gets me from A to B. Sometimes that's how I feel about this old back of mine. It ain't much, but it fires right up and gets me from A to B. We appreciate y'all watching the first episode of Paddle Boat Chris. It ain't been a whole lot of action today, but we're going to, uh, definitely, we're not going to go out with no skunk. So we're going to tie definitely another day onto this one, but... Pretty in pink. <laughs> Got pretty in pink. Pretty in pink is part of Paddle Boat Chris. And uh, old Durango Orange over there. Durango Orange. He's getting after it. Zzz. Get down on it. <laughs> I'm going to go tell my chicken. We're out here on this beautiful, beautiful 4th of July. there's anything more country than that. Talking about country, country. Y'all enjoying the show? All right, y'all, we still out here getting after. Celebrate Independence Day, 4th of July, the best way we know how. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. I keep moving that camera around. But uh, we're up here at the stove. Trying to get us a fire lit up. Happy 4th. Hey y'all, day two of this thing. If you guys saw the start yesterday of Paddle Boat Chris, you know this is the first episode. And we're headed back out. I've got that boat uh, pulled in. We're headed back out, but the only issue I believe we're gonna run into guys is I'm looking up in the sky it's looking a little dark up there. Right over in this area here. But hey, it don't stop Justin. It don't stop Kayak Catfish. He still get after it. I'm getting after it. I'm headed out here, y'all. And like I said, uh, if that rain whoops me today, you guys might see the first ultralight video. That's right. I mean, we're going to put up some paddle boat videos together and some ultralight videos as well. I'm talking about country like I don't throw nothing except monkey milk. Bobby Garland's monkey milk Bobby Garland's that's all I throw country we're gonna get out here and uh it's been a long day uh, first thank you to Rachel Rachel took us out earlier today and we got to see movie we saw that minion movie hey I recommend that movie 10 out of 10 recommend it minions a good movie and uh after our minion movie we followed up with a visit with the turtle man over there at camp 316 and uh got a couple more chicks we've, we've already since loaded those chicks over in the brooder there and well, we got a couple chicks and we finished off the day with a visit over at malone produce i got a chance to meet excited about this one y'all i got a chance to meet mason mason is the owner of big ben the the, the guard you guys see eat. uh mason and i we're kind of co-partnered on that thing and coming up with names and such but mason lauren ava and i think Jer jeremiah was the last one but uh good to meet y'all y'all stay tuned we're gonna cut loose on this one too talking dog gone talking dog gone y'all i got out here to my paddle boat and i walked right by because i think we're gonna have to shoot our folks our folks I'm sorry, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I was gonna wait on this video, but the weather and the boat conditions gonna make me do it today. So our first ultralight video. Ultralight. Let me get over here and show y'all what happened to the boat. 
Now, when I left last night, the boat was on the other side of Trisolation. When I come back over here, the boat is on this side of Trisolation, which is the opposite side. But it's got an addition in the inside of it. It's been filled up with water. Listen, I can't swim, y'all. I'm scared of water. I keep a life jacket under my bed. No doubt. But, uh, it looks like CJ might have took this thing out last night. In fact, I know he has because I see in the back of it. Listen, CJ's a telltale sign. CJ's been been there, and there's a Capri Sun left. That boat's got a Capri Sun in it, fruit punch, in the back right. That means CJ snuck that thing out. Y'all, I got to keep my eye on those CJ. He drinking and driving already. Got Capri Suns all throughout the boat. But, uh, along produce, there's look at what's left of the corn down the dirt. Down the dirt. We're going to get them pumpkins sold in, y'all. Next up, across the creek, pumpkin patch. And I'm talking about country. I'm talking about country like handmade buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk biscuits on the countertop. I was there. I saw it. I'm telling you what I saw. But, uh, I'm going to just make a quick round here and just make sure everything's still in before I get that rod in my hand. I like for the sun to go down a little more. I guess I'll go ahead and tell you what we're going to be throwing today since we're here. And I'll show it to you when we get over there. But it's about a five and a half foot Zebco. Y'all know I only throw Zebco. Speaking of Zebco, Zebco says hello. But uh, I don't throw nothing but Zebco. Five and a half foot rod. Light action. I'm talking about limber rod. I'm talking about limber as a wimp noodle. I like a limber rod when I'm ultralight and trying to pull them big slabs up underneath them treetops. But, uh, I was kidding earlier when I said, uh, uh, monkey milk, Bobby Garland. I think we're gonna be throwing old slab tail today. Chartreuse slab tail. We're gonna drop them down. You gotta get in that deep side there with the tree, with the tree suspended. Pond drops down in the left corner here to about 12 foot. Drops down about 12 foot. I get that that slab tail and drop it down about 10 and make them like that right there. Boy, you talking about getting after it. Oh, oh, 79 on light when I do that. Y'all yeah, look at these goats coming around this pond side. And uh, I got a chance to talk to Frog this morning. That was a pleasant start to my morning. Always good when I hear from Frog. He got a little distant on me over the last week, so I just called it Frog. If you're watching this thing, don't get distant like that on me now. But I had to call Frog and check on him. Y'all call somebody and check on me every now and then. You don't know what somebody's dealing with. Looks like I found my old rod here, but looks like CJ got hold of that too. Let me see. Let's see if it's there. Yeah. It's a little dirty, but it's still there. We're going to be using a the Syndicate 2000 special there on a zip coat. Uh, light action rod here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast this thing out we got it in bluegrass that's what color uh, um, little flat tail we use here Jeffrey taught me about that bluegrass I got to give him credit on that that's one thing I got to give him credit on he taught me about that bluegrass y'all listen I'm ultra competitive we went out to Gunnersville Jeffrey and I'm gonna tell this story I'm gonna cut this camera off because I got to bring something in Y'all don't want to see me talk. Y'all don't want to see me catch something. I understand. But, uh, Jeffrey took me out there to 79. And, uh, Jeffrey and I's fishing partnership has always been early on. Me kind of guide him and wearing him out. And, uh, last trip, yeah, he said he had it figured out on me. And I got out there and he caught one, then two, and then six. I got to looking around. I said, this here ain't cutting it. Not only is he whoop, whooping me, but he talking a little trash. Y'all ain't been back with Jeffrey since. I ain't going fishing with Jeffrey. No, no, no. Uh, too competitive just to sit out there and take whooping. But uh, I've got the better of him in the overall number, guys. At that day, you know, he had his day, but I've got the better of him in the overall numbers. But uh, enough uh, jabbing talking trash let's get this rod thrown out and get hooked up see what we can get us today 
All right, y'all, Hannah's back over behind me. We decided we ain't waiting on no rain. We went and got our cast net. We're headed over here to our pig area here. And we're gonna throw in a time or two and get us some bait, because one, we got to feed Crockett. That's got to happen. Secondly, we're gonna cut some of these up and drop them to the bottom. And we're gonna get after it, so stay tuned. We're switching the game plan up here. See you, Jackson. First cast there, look what I caught, Marquise. First cast. We're gonna put him back. We've got us something else for decent bait here. I'm gonna get back over here and make some more ultralight casting though, since we got bait. And I'll check back with you guys here in a minute. All right, y'all, so as I mentioned, we're back. Oh, I got a little pet there. Y'all see that? We're back to throwing these ultralight here. And uh, this area here, we call this area here 79. About 12 foot deep. You get that curly tail just drop right off the edge where I've got it now and just pop it back. And uh, most of the time you'll get a good fish right here. But uh, it's been a pretty decent day. And, uh, just been one thing after another. We've been knocking out jobs and just getting after it. And, uh, there he is. I got him here. Guys, look at this, look at this fella here. I will not take it. Boy, you talk about a slab. Oh, come this slab. Don't make me wear that hook. You hit that big tail there. And there he is, guys. Uh, another episode of Animal Creeks. Let's put him back. I turned this camera back on because I wanted to introduce my next setup going down for catfish today. But it's on my mind. Nick, I missed you. Uh, I know you tried to get with us last weekend, but Hannah and I were out of town. It's been a little over a weekend now, but stop by whenever you guys are off. Let's put something together, man. Let's put it together. But uh, I want to show you guys what we're throwing. Double rig again today. Stinger rig. We got us a good size sunfish on the bottom and a smaller one up top up here. They double up, so we're going to get this thing casted out. Stay tuned, we'll check back with you guys if something goes down. Turner family, Judy Turner and the Turner family, there they are, still looking good. Speaking of dogs, uh, Papa Glenn, if you, I know you're gonna see this thing first, but anyhow, Hannah and I were discussing getting us a protecting dog to put in our backyard. And, uh, there they go, Turner family, game, anyhow. Uh, Hannah and I were discuss, discussing putting us a protection dog in our backyard. Oh, this is holding up my one last cast. But anyhow, and uh, we figured Glenn has kind of the dogs that we're interested in as well. So uh, I'm going to send him a text today. But if you see this thing before he does, get that. We might can work out some kind of swap trade or something. But uh, one last cast, y'all. Here we go. So that one last cast didn't go as planned. So I'm headed over to turn on the heat light for our brooder. We got some newborns in there today. But uh I had to back up off that pond bank, Ken. I started seeing that mermaid had to back up. But uh we're gonna get that light turned on. Yeah, we had it back up, y'all. That water there is dark, dark blue. Mason, I want you to check out what we're gonna do with this area here. I'm talking about dogs gone. Stay tuned. Here's the issue right here. Mr. Malone, lettuce. Hannah say, what kind of bugs are these? There's, he's the, he's the culprit. What kind of bugs? Caterpillars. Caterpillars. These caterpillars are eating up all of our lettuce. Now, we need something to put on here because if these caterpillars don't stop eating on our lettuce, I'm gonna put a pop knot on their head in the shape of an eye formation. As far as, well, as far as I can see, everything's trizzling. I planted that right there. I don't even know what that is, but it's halfway up from the pallet. For sure. I'm coming to the top of the water over there. I'm gonna take my rod down. It takes my rod down. I'm gonna put a pop knot on his head big enough it need his own separate haircut. Listen, y'all, it's getting dark out. I'm handing out, cleaning up the garden. And uh, she screwed these pumpkins here. And uh, I'm going to take it over here and see 
I want to see if these pigs like pumpkin. It's just an early experiment. Let's check it out. Let's see. We got old collard green up here. Jepco 33 is on the way as well. There it goes inside there. Let's see. Yeah. Whoa! Did y'all see that? Collard green picked that thing right up. She's on that pumpkin like chili grease on a wedding dress. Y'all, I'm on my way back. Hannah's flagging me over. Looks like she's throwing me over another pumpkin. And uh, here for the throw. Here, here, here. Oh, we got it, guys. I don't think I wasn't an athlete or something. Y'all, Bianca's come over. She says she appreciates y'all watching this video this far. She says the journey is the reward. She says make sure you guys catch the next one. And she says, country style. Peace. Actually, guys, you know what? We're not going to end that video right there. For those of you that hung around and watched this thing all week to the end, it means you Mason. We're going to do a figure for this thing. Well, did y'all see that? He put a pot out on that sunfish big enough for a calf to nurse on. Thanks for watching.